everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, I was taking a look at some of the stuff, and some of the stuff really looks cool. Okay, for one thing, I like the Milky Way stuff. It's form-fitting, it looks good. Oh, besides the helmet. Um, there we go. It's form-fitting, it looks good. I kind of like the stuff. A lot of the stuff in the Milky Way thing I like, because I'm mostly familiar with it, so I kind of know what it does. Naturally, there's like a huge amount of uh, blueprints. Problem is, is, I only have 150 research points. A thing I would like to get is maybe like this N7 Eagle. The reason why behind it is because, for one thing, it's fairly light, and it's an, a fully automatic pistol. Think of it like a submachine gun, but it might be a little lighter or more accurate. It's a good gun. Trust me, I used it in the multiplayer a lot in Mass Effect 3, so I'm hoping, excuse me, that it works out like that. Oh, it's about the same way. The way. Hold on, let's see. Uh, okay. Marine grenade launcher. Yeah, a lot of these stuff I recognize. And then you got stuff like the Helios technology. Oh, hold on, I want to show you this. It costs 200 for this, and in order to do it, I looked at the weapon crafting thing. I'm going to need to um, apply it to craft, so I can't just slap it on there like a uh, rune in Dragon Age. And the Helios stuff... Um, I, I don't know, because a lot of this is like plasma, and, well, for one thing, I don't really like the look of it, and I don't really know what to do. I might get the Zalkin, but another problem I'm running into is I don't know, I don't have a lot of resources, so... Translate as three stars. Semi-automatic weapon that can be charged to shoot. Yeah! Yeah, I can do that. I have a lot of research points, so I'm going to research this. Booby only has a development branch to the terminal. You can launch development once you have gathered all the required resources. Okay. Uh, researching... Weapons or armor adds their blueprints to the development screen where they can be crafted. Researching augments grants you one copy of that augment. And all's more to be found in the field. One copy of that augmentation. Ah! Researching augmentations. So in order to find them, I need to research them. That's an interesting way to do things. Huh. Special ammo? Ah, the consumables. So, let's see. Yeah, okay. So in order to get these, I need more of these. Okay. A lot of this stuff is uh, very Berserker-like. And unfortunately, I like playing as a Berserker, but that's normally as a melee build. And melee isn't very eh about this. I mean, we got the melee weapons. Like the bio Well, that's in development. I'll show you the remnant now. The Remnant stuff, I've been looking at it, looks nice. That looks good. I like the slick alien look. And it's... Mm, I would research it, but... They're heavy. They're quite heavy, actually. The SMG is five heavier than that. I could probably take this one, now that I think about it. Especially since I've been reading it. For, uh, where is it? Uh, high energy particle that losing coherence, uh, will overheat from continuous use. It doesn't really say anything about reloading, I think. Let me see if that carries over. It, yeah, I, I don't know. From what I've been reading, it looks like it might be able to... Ah! Yep, okay. This is an assault rifle with one. That's a sign that it recharges. Okay. Because I don't know. Maybe I would want... I'm kind of leaning towards the SMG because I would like to... I, I just would like a gun that I could fall back to. That I could rely on. The armor looks nice too. At least I think. Let me take a look at the fully functional arms. Yeah, okay. This looks like it's just cobbled together. It looks okay. Kind of scary. But yeah, the helmet... I'm sorry, the helmet looks a little dumb. I like having little visors and stuff, but I'm just a picky person. So, I'm thinking... The 
the SMG. High rate of fire, decent clip size for an SMG, good fallback weapon. Uh, okay damage, but it's automatic and an unlimited ammo, and I would just like something to fall back on. I also looked at the uh, augments. This is some pretty crazy augments. Beam emitter. Changes a weapon type to a beam gun. I could change everything into a beam gun. So if I combine this to like a uh, the Avenger that I have, this one, I could have a custom-made remnant weapon. Actually, I should probably try that sometime. A lot of these augments are great. I pray... Ooh, a little shaky there. Praise the game for doing this. This is so customizable. It's so good. A lot of this is, f like, power stuff. It is... It didn't even... Uh, I can permanently equip thermal ammo. Shield Disruptor, Cryo Condenser, Cryo Ammo, Freeze Duration. Oh, wait. Uh, either way. Yeah, like this. Get the Widow Sniper Rifle, shoot one bullet, boom. 25 shields back. If I'm assuming that it works like that. So we are going to try to... I bet five bucks that I'm, I cannot develop it. Oh, SMGs are under... are under pistols. Okay. And this was exactly what I was afraid of. I didn't have the resources. I did not. Whoa! Uh-oh. I may have messed up. I didn't realize... I thought pistols were like 15! Oh no! It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. I'll figure something out. I researched the gun. I might be able to find it. And because I found it, I might be able to dismantle it for something. Okay, yeah. I am stuck then. I cannot craft anything. So, let's take a look around the ship. Actually, one more thing, one more thing. I just realized I can look at the buy kiosk. The N7... Can I sell it? Okay, I have nothing to sell. I have credits. I can buy a gun, maybe? No? Don't really need that. Or do I? Eh. The problem is, is I have a third slot that I need to either fill up or leave it there, because I have increased weapon capacity now, so I'll, um... Uh, that's something to think about. Rapid rate of fire. It requires a short route warm-up before use. Rhythm making a gas mass capacity. Wow, Max, it's manufacturer states with so many rounds to spare. What does it matter if you don't last? Ah! <laughs> the ultimate in spray and pray tech. Yeah. The cyclone was removed from production years prior to Andromeda's inevitable departure due to the intense maintenance requirements. But some still swear, still swear by. Yeah. Oh, that's good. The N7 Piranha, a rapid-fire shotgun. Ooh. Well, what about armor? I wouldn't mind, uh, better armor. Nothing? Okay. You can buy consumables. That's good. Might need those one day. I can buy resources. Like silicone. Oh, that's not 24 for 100. That's 24 each. So how much does that make it? Let's take a look around. Nomad mods. Oh, nothing? Okay. Special items. No special items available. So what you're saying is... Alright, how many do I need for the uh, new assault rifle that I got? I might as well, you know, build something with it. Oh, wait. Do this. Not a fan of the in interface so far. Could use a little work. 80. Okay. I would, I'd rather just do that. Because it looks like I can per keep exploring the war uh, world. I can keep exploring the world. And because I can keep exploring the world, that means I can pretty much get infinite credits. And it, 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 just a renewable resource of, that I can use. So, buying stuff, 
won't be punishing just because I got a little spend happier in trying to do that. Biomaterial. Scale fibers, soft chitin, tech materials, cat alloy, omnigel canisters, remnant polymer. Okay, okay. Wait, what did I say about Mickey Way on the thing? Uh... Use the Mickey Way technology for rapid vacation. I already knew that. I already knew that. So... That is not what I wanted. I wanted this. That, 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 that. Because of that... I can now build... Come on! There we go. The Zilkin Assault Rifle, which will be better than... My current one. It's semi-auto. That's okay, though. Oh, I can name it! Or something like that. Development successful. I... Don't think I could have added... Yeah, yeah, okay. Ah! It got me! It got me! It's not that big a deal. Uh, mod slot. Oh! For the mods. Mm. That's right. Okay. Uh, notice of these aren't that big a deal. I have a new gun. I could have gotten a pistol, though. I already have a pistol. That's the thing. Ah! I'm all over the place now. I'm sorry. And now we need to look at strike teams. Because I forgot they can do things for you. Alright, let's get a debrief. Oh! Hmm. Okay then. That was a mission failure. So I need to find... Another mission because I wasn't expecting to fail. I thought I'd be able to succeed in my first one, but okay, man, that kind of hurt. Five percent chance for success. Yeah, right. We're not doing that. We are going to identify the spy because you guys are Salarian scrubs. You're scrubs. But that's okay. That happens. I can claim my rewards later. Select uh, to complete a multiplayer or assign strike team. I'm probably gonna try this. I'm probably gonna try some multiplayer episodes to um, strike team do ready that. for deployment. Did I not send them off? Did I? Was I it? Okay, now. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. I thought I was big dumb again. I want to call talk to Drac. What's his name, Drac? Can I jump off? No. Okay. Invisible walls. Yay. So he's making up a bedroll in the kitchen. That is such a weird place. <laughs> Don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Rusha. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. <laughs> we like trouble. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. I like the way you think, kid. Hmm. Someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably Tam. <laughs> Politicians. <laughs> Is that all you brought? You travel even when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Hmm. Uh. Well, this is. He doesn't like the Nexus. A lot of the compassionate ones are the ones I seem to like. Leaving the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. It was, actually. Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. What about Kesh? Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. 
Yeah, well, I'm I'm not gonna say. Well, Nexus does need you. Krogan could have made a real difference on the Nexus. Staying under those conditions would have just resulted in another mutiny. We have a much better shot at something good out here. Can't argue with that. Mm hmm. Anything else I can talk to you about? Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in assistant director. <laughs> Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. Sam? Did Lexi brief you on Sam and squad connectivity yet? Yeah. You want to hook that thing up to my comm, sure, but that's where it stops. Putting an AI in your head, giving it access to everything like that, it's begging for trouble. Why? Why do you say that? I've seen what bots can do when they turn on their creators. Been in some of those fights. There's a reason that kind of research was outlawed. Yeah. I was dismissed from the Alliance when news of what my dad was researching got out. Oh! No shit. Ruined the writer name, I'll bet. Almost. <sighs> Tell me about it. I'm not thrilled about it myself, but it is what it is. Just make sure it can't unshackle itself. There'll be hell to pay if that happens. Tell me about... Kesh. What's it like to have Kesh as a granddaughter? Kesh is my Rushan, child of my blood. Raised her myself. Damn proud of her, too. She did good, even with me for a granddad. I like her. She's honest. Definitely blunt. She had to take after me in some ways, I guess. Talk. Tell me about you, Drac. I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. What about your combat experience? So, about all this combat experience you have, I'd love some details. Ha! <laughs> The list will be shorter if you ask me what experience I don't have. I've been doing this for a long time now. Centuries. Shit. Well over a thousand years. Don't even know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Skill? It ain't luck to be a merc. Skill, sure, but a whole lot of luck. And a really hard head. <laughs> what about that Krogan colony? Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. Got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable. The works. Even some farming. Farming? Krogan farm? It's <laughs> a weird Food's thought. food. Just because we can eat anything doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. I'm pretty fond of Corkro roots myself. Takes a while to chew through those. Kind of like, uh, kind of like a candy, I guess. You know Vetra? How did you and Vetra meet? Huh, that's right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they thawed you out. You could say that. Mm -hmm. You make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for Kesh right under my nose. I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, that Turian takes shit from no one. She's pretty awesome that way. She really has a way of getting things done. She sure does. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Cash's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Cash all along. <laughs> They're both still laughing at me over that. <coughs> wow. Uh, oh, the Nexus Uprising, yeah. Why did the Krogan leave the Nexus? The Nexus got us Krogan to stop the mutiny. In return, we were supposed to get a say in station business. Spender, Addison's assistant, lied about the deal. And Tan came down hard. Too hard. So we left. Cash is alone on that station now. How old is she with politics? Do you think Cash can handle station politics? Cash can handle anything. Thing is, Spender's a liar and a coward. He was part of the mutiny, I know he was. A lot of people got hurt because of him, on both sides. So what's my part in this? 
Things need to get sorted out, and my clan needs to get back on station without Spender messing things up. Way I see it, you're probably the best one for that job. Uh, I don't want I'll... the Krogan in this series have have it so hard. They're tough, but you can almost say they're tough for a reason. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? <laughs> All right, combat advice. I wouldn't mind. Anything about the cat? Or combat in general? Well, com and cat are pretty straightforward. Hit them hard enough, they die like anything else. All right, more. Tell me more about fighting cat. Wraiths are sneaky little shits like the ghost up behind you when you least expect it. Just listen for them. They tend to give themselves away right before coming at you. Break through their head plates, then a headshot should do the trick. That's it? I like, kind of already know. We can know. talk more later. Sure. Hey, one last thing. Hmm? Yeah? Do you call everyone kid? Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. I'm not gonna argue with the thousand-year-old Krogan. <laughs> that just seems... Okay, for one thing, that's just a little rude, and where's your bed? Or are you just raiding the kitchen? Or is that just the way to say, okay, you sleep here now? Oh, time to snoop. Lost and found coffee mug. Found a mug yesterday near the bio lab. Nice one with a magnetized base. You left it stuck sideways to a bulkhead. <laughs> Cora, that's mine. I just put it down for a second when my hands were full. Suvi, next time maybe empty it first. <laughs> Uh, Drac and PB are officially on the team. I finished assignment and paperwork for the Nexus, had to fudge a few details, but you're both officially members of the Pathfinder team. Welcome. And Drac, I just wanted to check in publicly about what I said. Cora. Relax, Harper. The best headbutt is always the one you don't see coming, Drac. I'll keep that in mind. Cora. Uh, okay. I like that. I like how you can figure out what's going on between your crew with that. It's a little, well, it's a s different way of doing things because you're not really using cutscenes, but it's, it's completely acceptable. You don't need an old man a few hundred years your junior to tell you you're ready for the, oh wait, I already read that. I'm My urge to snoop didn't work out. Oh, oh, that's a body scan thing. Okay. doesn't it? We started Pathfinder. Thank you. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. Yeah, thank you for pr uh, pronouncing it for me. That I would never have figured that out, actually. Just wondering what you think <laughs> of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. Your Pathfinder. It's as simple as it gets. Tell me about you. We barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. Alright. I was a bad student. Piss poor cop. Great responder. Had a good life, but it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. Tell me about your career history. You were a cop then, crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did. But it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. Here is cop. <laughs> Seems and a patient shit. rookie frustrated by procedure? That's overdone. <laughs> I know, right? I wanted new. And I got it. And that led me here. Did I talk to him about this before? I don't remember it. Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom, Joel, Dad, Calvin. Both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? 
Who defines traditional? Traditional is a weird term for family. Like normal. Who's that described? I suppose you're right. I sure didn't keep the tradition. I said goodbye to my mom and dad and got on a ship to Andromeda. Alright, bye. We'll talk later. I know it. Okay. Here's that couch. Kills me that some of this stuff isn't preserved as well as you think it is. I guess there wouldn't really be dust if nobody's living around, because, you know, dust is actually, like, dead skin and all that, and dirt and bad stuff. Hey, Vetra. Terraforming Atmo processors, gravity wells, light destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> yeah, that's why it's an adventure. If we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving. And everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone. Uh. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. Find a home. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. We have a goal. Figuring out how to get to the goal is a step in the end. But at least you have a goal in mind. Uh, you saw the uprising? You were on the Nexus when the revolt was <clears throat> When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the Exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? Thing about conning people, you always know something they don't, and that's why the con works. And if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. True. I doubt the liars, air quote liars, really knew, you know, 600, 200 years before anything started going on. How'd you join the initiative? How did you hear of the Andromeda initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice... Eventually, I figured out something was going on. Something big with creds behind it. I asked and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. I'm kind of surprised that it was so secretive, but I guess that was a way... I guess I'm hoping they'll explain that later, because I think that might be a way to protect them from the Reapers. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who, and what they're willing to take in exchange. Sounds too easy. It can't be that simple. Oh, but it is. Most things are simple once you know the trick to them. That is true. There's a saying. Something is only difficult because you don't know how to do it. Once you know how to do it, it becomes easy to do. Oh, have didn't mean to click that. Here with you? Besides Sid? No, just me and Sid. It's always been just the two of us. No, I mean... Someone special. Special? Oh. You mean like... Oh. <laughs> no. Nothing like that. Who has time? What about you? I'd rather leave this open in case I change my mind. Anyone who's gonna feel empty if you don't have someone to share it with. A romantic? I wasn't expecting that. And again, the entire idea of leaving everything you know for a chance of something new is kind of romantic. Um, anyway... I'm gonna you keep my eye on you. We can chat later. You know where to find me. I'll keep an eye on you. If I like your personality, we'll get along just fine. Just gotta be a little wary. Did I? How do I work this? Come on. Oh. Well, that's a good reason. <laughs> wasn't down. I don't know my own ship. What kind of captain am I? Yes, I know I'm a pathfinder, but I'm captain. That's just how ships work. Spacefaring ships work the same way as, like, water-based navy. I just need to figure out what I'm doing. Because I really didn't explore the ship much. All right, let's do this real quick. Oh. Where's my data pad? Oh, how's it under there? Uh, to be. We 
you talking to your notebook? Oh, I was, wasn't I? I do that sometimes. Okay. I wanted to do this. Yeah, I remember now. I knew I came here for a reason. Because I want to see how well the pistol increases the weight. 10%. That's actually better than it was before. It was like 35. To 15. Uh, yeah, I'm liking it. Now, does this reduce the weight? No. I kind of like the, uh... Cryo Gauntlet, because if something's... If I don't kill something in a punch, I'm hoping it'll freeze them, so I can have an, a moment to kind of bail. Alright. Pistol Melee Optimizer. Well, obviously, the Pistol Receiver. Wait, that increases damage? No, Penetration Damage. And then it has Penetration Distance. Yep. Sorry for clicking it. I didn't read it. I did that thing where I didn't read it fully and kept clicking back. And clip size. Do I have anything else for the shotgun? Uh, melee? No, okay. That's all. That's not really much for me. Oh, that just gives so much XP, and I don't want to unequip that. This is why I don't like DLC armor. It kind of ruins it for you if, you, uh, if you're not paying attention. And not paying attention, I mean... um. It just ruins the experience because you get items you're really not supposed to be having. Uh, so it can't be helped. Alright. I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Uh, that This is starting to become fun. I like it. I'm going to start to... It's starting to get everything going. Alright, guys. See you in the next episode. You all have a good day now. Bye.